We're here at Sportcopter in Scappoose, Oregon, to talk with Jim Vanek, who is the founder, president, uh, multitasker extraordinaire, flight instructor here at uh, Sportcopter. Talk about the Sportcopter 2. And, Jim, we saw this machine at Oshkosh a couple of years ago, and there's been kind of a, a lull in the action. Tell us what's been going on in the last couple of years with this machine. Well, we've been flight testing the aircraft and making some small changes to it. It's under an R&D right now phase, and it's been, been for, performing very well. Uh, we've changed the tail surfaces for more, better stability, and it's been very successful. And now we're adding power with the Lycoming uh, IO360. It doesn't look on the outside different in concept from the Sparrowhawk and the Xenon and a bunch of other enclosed two-place machines. What's different about this machine? Well, we decided we would like to take on every aspect of what people were asking for. Uh, suspension, better stability, roomier cockpit. We had a lot of interest from foreign militaries to be able to carry uh, more cargo, more room, uh, more room for the occupants with their gear on. And so this is a big step forward because uh, it addresses all of those things. All right, what specific features will people find in this machine that they won't in some of the others? Uh, the suspension, number one, uh, is a progressive rate suspension system that allows you just to stop flying, you know, four to six feet in the air and let the thing hit the runway. It's a very easy landing, castering nose wheel, uh, adjustable rudder pedals. You can adjust them in flight. Uh, the seat back adjusts as well. A lot roomier cockpit by far, more instrumentation room, uh, full glass cockpit. So the people who are used to flying, you know, uh, like Platuses and uh, small jets and uh, Cirrus, Lance Air aircraft, will be really at home inside this aircraft. What is this machine going to do for people who might be looking at a small helicopter? Well, give them something that's only $39 an hour to operate versus the hundreds of dollars an hour to operate and still have a rotorcraft rating. Once you get a gyro rating, you can add on a helicopter. Okay, outside the training environment, uh, how often do people actually use hover? I mean, will this do the 90% of what this will do that a full-on helicopter will do? Uh, is that going to be enough for people who will be looking at this thing? I think so. Uh, due to the fact that we can auto-rotate down safely and land without power, uh, like a helicopter, even easier, will give it that platform that they're looking for. A helicopter generally lifts off but has to make a run to take off to fly, to fly away, and so does a gyro. Uh, we have a real short takeoff with this. This should be a suffice that need. Uh, momentarily, you can stop in the air with thrust and be into the wind. So it does a lot what a helicopter can do for a fraction of the cost. Let's talk about the construction of these machines. Uh, we see a few of them in progress here in your shop. What's it going to be like for the owner to put one of these together? Uh, we're trying to make it as easy as possible and still get under the regulations. We're going to prefab the body enclosure. It's all pre-preg honeycomb construction, and we don't think we should allow the customer to glue them together. Uh, the way we're jigging it and doing it, we want it to fit properly with the rest of the parts. Uh, the steel components will be welded as well. So it'll be a, a massive assembly, riveting, painting, sanding, finishing project, uh, which easily sh should suffice the needs uh, for the FAA. What about someone who's out there watching this right now who says, this might be for me? What kind of timeline might they be looking at? Oh, probably right around six months. We've already built building other machines right now. As we progress with this one, we're building parts following it. When we complete an area, we know that it's good. We then can duplicate it. And that's what we've been doing. Is there going to be any kind of builder program, assist program offered for the machine? Uh, we're doing that right now, matter of fact. There's a few machines under that uh, right now. Their customers are coming in. Uh, they're helping put the machine together and taking it to each level. And it's, it's under process now if someone wants to do it. Well, we wish you all the best. It's fun to see it fly. It's fun to fly in it. And thanks for taking some time for our viewers today. Hey, thank you, Paul. TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com.